Now what are you doing? You didn't know how to hook a cable up for some reason. Oh, stop it. And when I did it in five seconds, you got confused about how I did that so quickly. And then I made a comment, maybe you should lubricate the cable too, because it seems like it was a little dry. So we're going to have to put a little lubricant on this cable, just, just to be different. This is going to make a big mess too. Yeah, that's only going to get the bottom, or about up at the top. You should have done the top already too, but see, that should have been done before the cable was installed. Well, before it hooked up down here while it's still loose, we can spray it up there. At least I want to get some down here. That's not a total loss. Okay, now if you go on the other side over there, you can see how the cable goes in. But shouldn't we lube it while it's still loose at the top? What? It's still loose up there no matter what. I haven't finished up there yet. <sighs> So you were having a problem trying to put the cable in here because you kept hitting that damn thing and you couldn't figure out how to get it go around that. No, no, that wasn't it. So what it. you do is you take it, pull it toward me, shove it back, shove it over, and then pull it back like that. No, that wasn't it. That was it. And no, now, I... I now it's assembled, see? No, I think there was too much tension on the cable. Okay, it was it was all your fault the whole time. Now the other problem is, is we have a problem is, is that cable right there is completely in the way. So which cable is that? That's uh, that's the uh, starter cable. So why is the starter cable going up into the battery box? Uh, because it was way too freaking long. Keeping the clutch from working correctly. It was way too long. I just shoved it up there just to get out of the way while we're... Well, I think we need to unshove it and move it because it's not going to fly right in that spot. Well, that's not where it's staying. It was just shoved out of the way. We're working on this right now because the clutch is next. So I had to shut this off so I can use two hands. Well, just give it to me so I can watch you screw it all up. We have a light on either. Look at that. There it goes. See, he's got that jammed up in here somewhere. Look at that crap. Look at all that crap he's got in there. Well, ooh, look at all that. Ultima made this cable like long enough to go around the bike three times. Well, that's because they wanted you to have plenty of room. Oh, look at that. It's a lot better now. <clears throat> he even knocked the clutch cable out while he did all that. Look at that. See, look, it's going to be all freaking snaked around the starter there. Good. Let's set the cable back up over here. Okay, shove the clutch back. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now what are we hitting on? On the freaking cable. There's another cable right there. No, that's the same starter cable it's hitting. Oh, okay. Really bad design in this Ultima starter. Okay, well, we'll leave it right there. That's probably why they had that weird... Transition there in the cable, but right, they still have a spot. Okay, we need a push rod because this hole is lacking you know, something in the inside there. Look at that, there's something way, way, way in there. Huh? Where's our push rod? Secret parts. Ooh, there's all those missing parts that we can't find. All right. I'm going to lube this. Here, lube. Is this the right one? Well, you got an early style throughout there in this thing. You got one of the racing style ones in there. That one's not on. Put it out of bearing again. Bearing? Battery? Battery. Same thing. Bearing. Okay, now you take a little bit of lubricant. He's not even watching. I'm trying to try and turn the other camera on too. It's on standby. Oh, it's got a record function going. Okay, is this one on recorder? You got that off too. This one's recording. Good, I'm glad we didn't miss any of this. Yeah. Okay, that's now lubed. And if you stick it in the hole and kind of rub it around a little bit, it lubricates the whole thing all the way down. Look at that. Just take a little extra in there just to make sure. You can see the dingleberry? You can put that up there. Yeah. Now, when you go over to the other side over there, Look at that. Clutch is working and everything. You take the excess. Back off. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you want the clutch basket. Yeah, I can kind of look. You know where it is? It's right here. 
Are these tight or these going to be loose too? Is there anything else in the bike wrong? Shit, I don't know. Remember that one's more freaking performance choppers crap. Well, you you might want to check it. Did you check it yet? Yeah, I haven't checked it. Seems everything they did was wrong. We've had months to check all this stuff. Better freaking check it. Put your impact. It's all for me to discover all on my own. Right. Put your impact uh, screwdriver Testing on Testing me. This is a big test, isn't it? Oh, it's got a record function going. Okay, is this one on recording? You got that off too. This one's recording. Good. I'm glad we didn't miss any of this. Yeah. Okay, that's now lubed. And if you stick it in the hole and kind of rub it around a little bit, it lubricates the whole thing all the way down. Look at that. Just take a little extra in there just to make sure. You see the dingle bear? You can put that up there. Yeah. Now, when you go over to the other side over there, Yeah, clutch is working and everything. You take the excess. Back off. Okay. Now I suppose you want the clutch basket. I can kind of love. You know where it is? It's right here. Are these tight or are you going to be loose too? Is there anything else in the bike wrong? Shoot, I don't know. Remember that was more freaking... Performance choppers crap. Well, you you might want to check it. Did you check it yet? I haven't checked it. Seems everything they did was wrong. You had months to check all this stuff. I don't freaking check it. Put your impact. It's all for me to discover all on my own. Right. Put your impact uh, screwdriver Testing on Testing me. This is a big test, isn't it? Screwdriver test it with. There. There it is. It didn't move. Okay, we need a special bolt for that. That I know you have. Could be in that box right behind you. We have a spot that goes right like that. And there's a missing bolt. Probably a little Loctite on there, just in case. You can also use just oil. Look at that. Where'd you hide the clutch this week? Right there. We moved it again. Ooh, that's heavy. Now, I know there's a reason why this is all together like this. Look, now I'm starting to turn it off while I'm waiting for you. Smart. There's an airline, I can see it. Yeah, but that one was still going. Well, it's challenging to operate two cameras at once. Do you have any one right now? I do now. Springs you laying over there. Springs? Yes. Laying where? There's some laying over there. We got five missing. They're in the box. But you got a couple missing. We got like a nut over here. This is like a secret box over here. No, that's the box for all the clutches. All the dirt in there. Bugs flying around. Now, an easy way to put these springs in here is to do it like this. How come you got a stock clutch in this bike? It's better than the original clutch I had in there. It might slip. I think I can pretty well guarantee it's going to slip. Well, you uh, you missed my birthday, May 5th, so you could turn me on to, you know, like a... $1,000 Barnett Scorpion racing clutch with a aluminum basket. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, good luck on that.
I only have one for my bike. Yeah, but I'll just edit it out. And I'll replay the part where you said. There you go. Here, you can have that. No charge. Look, at least it has decent Kevlar plates. Five or six. Uh, I believe there's six in there. I see only five. Did somebody steal one? Somebody's in there. How many is there? You tell me. I'm holding the camera. There's four of them now. This here is number five. There's also a shitty looking ball sitting over here too, which probably goes on the end of an adjuster, I bet. It's a five plate collection, not a six plate. Why? Okay, we want to check our in play here. Do you hear that? Yeah. That doesn't do anything for you. See how much movement that is? Yeah, what's going on there? That means the, the, the retainer is supposed to be helping you. It ain't doing a damn thing. So that's wrong. Now the reason that is wrong is because I haven't made any positions. Mainly because these were never made for five step hub. They made for threes. So missing one of the bolts where it belongs to do the holding power. So we gotta take this out and see what's going on. Now do you have those big long stupid ass rollers in there or do you got the stock cage roller in there? I don't recall. That's been about thirteen years since I've I've heard that same excuse more than once today. I know. It's gonna be replaying. It's a good one. Why well, you got it on video? Stand by right the second. You're missing all my fun comments. If you keep shutting the camera off when I'm talking about you, that eliminates all the fun. Yeah. And I'm not the writing the comments instead of playing on the video. Yeah, oh. you won't remember. That's right, I probably won't. Okay, see that clip right there? Grease, it's going to go everywhere. Yeah. So that's why you lay it over there. You getting tired holding that? See that? That bearing's missing that was in there. See that bearing over there? Yeah. Now, if you take a little bit of grease, put it in there, and put the ball in, you won't lose it. Yeah. So that's a job for you to do. And why don't you do that? Because I am working over here on the snap rings, and you can show how to grease up a push rod ball. Yeah. It's almost like a muffler bearing, but different. Or you can turn the camera off and come back to it. People don't need to see you take all three, all <coughs> six of those. Yeah, if you turn this one off here, it would be better too. I freaking set the thing down again. You lost your remote. Okay, we need a special bolt for that. That I know you have. Could be in that box right behind you. We have a spot that goes right like that. Ooh, there's a missing bolt. Probably want a little Loctite on there just in case. You can also use just oil. Look at that. Who'd you hide the clutch this week? Right there. You moved it again. Ooh, that's heavy. Now, I know there's a reason why this is all together like this. See you now. Springs. Yes. I ain't where? Is there some laying over there? We got five missing. They're in the box. I just got a couple missing. We got a 
I got a nut over here. This is like a secret box over here. No, that's the box for all the clips assembly. Look at all the dirt in there. Bunch one. Now, an easy way to put these springs in here is to do it like this. How come you got to stop clutching this bike? It's better than the original clutch I had in there. Yeah, it might slip. I think I can pretty well guarantee it's going to slip. Well, you uh, you missed my birthday, May 5th, so you could turn me on to, you know, like a... Like a $1,000 Barnett Scorpion racing clutch with a wooden basket. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, good luck on that. I don't even have one for my bike. Yeah, but I'll just edit it out. And I'll replay the part where you said. There you go. Here, you can have that. No charge. Look, at least it has decent Kevlar plates. Five or six. Uh, I believe there's six in there. I see only five. Did somebody steal one? Who's in there? How many is there? You tell me, I'm holding the camera. There's four of them in there. This here is number five. There's also a shitty looking ball sitting over here too, which probably goes on the end of an adjuster, I bet. It's a five plate clutch, not a six plate. Why? So we want to check our in play here. Do you hear that? Yeah. That doesn't do anything for you. See how much movement that is? Yeah, what's going on there? That means the, the, the retainer that's supposed to be helping you ain't doing a damn thing. So that's wrong. Now the reason that is wrong is because they have it in the wrong positions. Mainly because these were never made for five stud hubs. They are made for threes. So you're missing one of the bolts where it belongs to do the holding power. So we gotta take this out and see what's going on. Now do you have those big long stupid ass rollers in there or do you got the stock cage roller in there? I don't recall. That's been about 13 years since I've... I've heard that same excuse more than once. I know. It's gonna be replaying. It's a good one. Why, you got it on video? When you keep shutting the camera off when I'm talking about you, that eliminates all the fun. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to write it in the comments instead of playing on a video. Yeah, you won't remember. That's right, I probably won't. Okay, see that clip right there? One. Now don't forget where it is. Right there. Now you know what's going to happen when we pick up that grease? It's going to go everywhere. Yeah. So that's why you lay it over there. You getting sure. tired holding that? See, that, that bearing is missing that was in there. See that bearing over there? Yeah. Now, if you take a little bit of grease, put it in there, and put the ball on it, you won't lose it. Yeah. So that's a job for you to do. Why don't you do that? Because I am working over here on the snap rings, and you can show how to grease up a push rod ball. Yeah. It's almost like a muffler bearing, but different. Or you can turn the camera off and come back to it. Okay, we got this part, so now we're looking to see <clears throat> what adjustment to put this at. This has an A, B, and a C for depth. So, and this one's kind of worn. You can see the stringy thing coming off the side here. This one's pretty well used up anyway, but... Anyway, if you look down in there, you can see the groove in there. The A is way up high. You know, the groove is way above the surface, so it's not going to help hold it any. Here's your B position. See how the snap ring looks like it's flush with the uh, shoulder there? So you should be in the B position. And then the C position is way over here. See, so you can't even see the snap ring. Here. When I push it down, you can see part of a groove, but not fully. So it looks like B might be the answer on this one. But this one's pretty worn out, so it's probably time for another one anyway. Do you have another one? Uh, possibly. So this is uh, coming, coming in glued. Yeah, toss that. And this is starting to get a little thin in here. I'm rubbing. So 
so pretty much time for another one. Okay, you're lucky we just happen to have another uh, new one sitting here. What a shocker. Now these are so old, they're actually made in the USA. Wow. That's how old these things are. Okay, That's terrific. Now this one doesn't have an A, B, and a C. It has a 1, 2, and a 3. So this one's not a ramjet. This is a copy of a ramjet. You probably had a genuine ramjet, which is even older than this one. I did have a genuine ramjet. See, this one here is was a ripoff from Star West. And Dave haven't had these things probably for 10 years, but... I bought a couple of extra ones just in case I needed them. About that many of them. <laughs> Alright, so we got our one, two, and our three. So we need to find out where our snap ring is going to go. So here's our three position and our one position. Then we go down here take a look and see what we see. Now, see number three is way off. Number two looks halfway decent. And we don't have any number ones right now, but theoretically one's going to be a lot lower. If you find the one, here's a one way over here. And see how far the groove's above? See that? Yep. So it looks like it's the same deal. It's going to be our number two, which is our B on the other one. So two seems to be the magic one, which is our B position. So we're going to go ahead and go for B. Now the next problem is, is this was never designed for five studs. These are made for three studs. So we have one, two, and three number threes. So this one's on a stud. That one's on a stud. And actually, we want number two position, not three. Two, two, and two. But he's right next to you. I know. I oh, need step on him. I can do that. So our number twos don't line up with anything. See, only one out of two line up. So you do a shift, and we see if we get more twos. Still get no more twos. So it looks like number two is not going to be a very happy option to come up with. See how none of the twos line up? Hmm. We only get one two at a time. And only your threaded studs have snap rings. Sometimes the other ones used to have snap rings. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take the number two position and make some more number two positions by cutting them. So we're going to have to take a number three and turn it to a two to make it work. Now the other option is to turn this one. Now see that's a lot better positioning there. See now we have that two and this two line up. And we have a number three over here that we can change into a two. And we also have this blank one we can change into a two. Understand all that? So we're all done. We're going to have one, two, three, four number twos, and this one here will not be used. No way. Because this is a number one. It's the deepest hole. So unless you put a spacer in there, you can't ever make it work. Well, that's not good. So, so five's dead and you're only using four. Well, three is all you really need, so. We only had one before. Okay, so now I know which ones I need. So I need that felt tip pin that we lost again. Hey buddy, come over here. We need to eat some of your food over there. Where did our felt tip pin run off to? I don't know. Well, when we find our felt tip pin, we're going to mark it. I turned this off where you're looking for it. I found it. There it is. So we're going to use this one. This one, this one, and that one. <clears throat> now, can we put a spacer on the fifth one so we can use all of them? Only well, if you have a really thin spacer laying around, which I don't have. 
So I'm going to go over the milling machine and we're going to set the depth for whatever two is and turn these other two into twos. So we'll go do that. How are you done? Modifying this ramjet retainer by making more twos. So we have a counterbore that fits up in the hole. I come down, we make, I'm adjusting my stop right now here, my handle. Down here. To what I need. So this is a number two hole. See how it's loose? I don't know if you have no tension on it yet. So we give it 10 more thou. I'm starting to get a little tension on it. <clears throat> we give it five more and we got tension. So that means we go with 40. Let me zero this in case you forget what number you're on. Two more thousands. Okay, so that should be close. Back it off two. <coughs> so we're going to turn it on and see what we get. See how it's just barely scraping on the edges there? Yeah. So it's lightly cutting. So that sets our depth stop. Now we're going to go ahead and cut these ones that we had marked that we need to be at two. So now we got four twos, if we did it right. Yeah. If you find a wash still fit in that hole, we can make the fifth one into a two also. If there's any material to work with. There you go. So did you find that washer yet? No. Okay, we found two Shim Army Navy washers. It was those AN washers. Okay, we got one, two, so this number one over here is what we need to use. This is the offending hole. So we're going to try your washer first. So we already got the depth figured out, we just have to know what it is. Okay, that is zero on our machine over here. We back it up five thou. You see we're loose. So right there, see where our number is over here? So we're a thou and a half off. So I think we can make that one as a functional number one. Be a number two. There it is. So don't lose that one. <laughs> it's went down in the groove. Don't lose that one that's down there in the crud. Don't you lose that one. I told you don't lose it. You freaking flip it across the room and it goes underneath something. I told you don't lose it. Okay, is that it? That's it. So you're greasing up the plate? It's plastic, so it doesn't need any lube on it. So why are you greasing it? It's plastic, doesn't need any lube. It's plastic, it doesn't need any lube, so you put grease on it. I lost my rag, so I'm going to steal yours. It's right here. It fell out of your pocket. That's the dirty one. No, it's the one you had in your pocket. Oh, that's the clean one. It only looks dirty. Okay, stop bringing the pliers. Okay, we have three new clips. We only need five, so we're okay. Yeah, gee, thanks. So three new clips and two old ones. Okay, where's our number one at? Two, 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 one. That's one. Does one get a new clip or one get the old clip? The new one. Okay, 
ごい Make sure you put the sharp edge up. <clears throat> so it bites the edge. Yep. So now we go one more new one over here. Another new one. So this new one. Now you don't want to overspread these because then they get loose. See they bite really hard? Yeah. So you got three on there now. Okay, now we can go over here. We got four to choose from over here that are used that need to be regenerated. So we take a pair of uh, channel locks, a big pair, and we regenerate them. See how that one's not bent all the way over? So I'm going to bend it down further. And see how they're bent? Yep. So that's three different bends you do. That way they're more or less round. And we're going to put that on the other positions here. Really tight. That one didn't want to go in. It's in, but didn't want to. That was a three, so that's one of our cut down ones. Hmm. So we might not have cut enough, maybe. Didn't have that positive click snap. Nope, that's because it was dragging. It's a zero fit application. It's going to bend it. Hey buddy, get out of there. What's he digging in? I think he's eating that cat. <laughs> what are you doing buddy? Get over here. You found that dead cat? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was live. It was that two foot long hairy roach over there. What are you doing buddy? That's what you're doing. You're searching for those fuzzy roaches. Huh? That's crossbred Inbred, crossbred. Half cat, half roach? Ghetto roaches. <laughs> All right, see now it, that one clipped a little tight. Now remember how loose it was before? Yeah, it was very sloppy before. Yes. And now we have five studs holding it down evenly. So now it's correct. See, no problem. There you go. It's an easy fix. You only need a little bit of stuff to use. And so how long do you think this... Uh, Before it looks like that again? About five minutes. Yeah, this clutch is going to hold up to this high horsepower, high torque monster motor. Am I riding or are you riding it? <laughs> Talk about me riding it, not you torturing it. Well, you want me to break it or break it in, didn't you? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. no. Why not? Can you have any fun? You like my panhead? First ride is down the drag strip? Uh, no. That ain't how you do it? No. Well, I had to see what it was going to do. It was an eight year old motor with the set and had to break the rings in. Yeah, well, you've got a couple million parts here to choose from to put shit back together. Uh, I, I don't. Yeah, but I've been using a lot of mine on your bike. I'm short a hundred thousand. Yeah, well, there's pages. Okay. Of part numbers that I'm going to build for. Very so. important is you got to assemble this correctly. You got to make sure that this key right there actually does not go like this as you shove the clutch in. Yeah. So it's not going to hold anything. You got to make sure that groove right there is sticking straight up to go with that key. And then when you look at it, you should be able to see the end of that key like that. If you don't see the end of the key, chances are 
it rotated up on you because you can't see it up in there. Okay, we got all these parts up over here. Now, see where that's at right now? Turn the light on, I can't even see. Turn the light on? I got all the cameras going. It's recording, isn't it? Oh, you screwed around. Standby. 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 You're still on standby. This battery's low. No, you just have to get in the right spot. When you're behind the camera, it doesn't work. You gotta be in front of the camera. Well, now, this my is light a is over here. Seven year old battery in this now, remote. Do you see? No, that's got my battery in it. No, no, oh, in the remote. remote. Oh. Okay, see where that the groove is right there? You have to rotate upwards to where it is. You see I kind of wiggle it a little bit. And if you look up inside the hole in there, see how you're looking the butt end of that key? And all you're seeing is steel and no gap. So that means it's all the way in, flat. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Now, where is that fancy ass nut that you had? Okay, there's your nut. You've got two seals in there, so that's twice as many leaks. And you don't have any grease in there. So that's called a dry hole. And the only screwdriver seems to be this huge one. So I guess I'm going to have to use my Allen wrench because I can't find my little screwdriver. Take a little bit of lubricant. Lubricate your seal. Now I had some Loctite on there earlier. You only lubricated one seal. You said there's two seals. There's two seals in there. Look at it. They're both lubed. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you slide this time. See, oh, I found my screwdriver that was missing. Double sealed. Yes. Now what happened to the red Loctite that was out? That's the one that doesn't work because somebody didn't open it again. Just bust the top off. Yeah. See? Yeah, see it still doesn't work? Yeah, I see that. It's a good thing I brought my own. Okay, I got a couple drops in there, see? Yeah. I hear a cop over there. Must be some issues down the street. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, now you can put the lock tab in there if you want. Yeah. Yeah, you notice how good that worked when it was locked and it came right out and it still had the tab in there. So we should probably use a new one. Yeah, I'm going to use a new one, all right. It's called Loctite. You're not using one? I'm using one right now. Doesn't look like you're using that. Hey, buddy. I got it. Getting it out. Now remember, we got to tighten it so it's loosening. Okay, there's about whatever torque. Notice how the hub's not doing this dancing crap? We didn't put any lube on those bearings. They had some lube in there. I looked. They had oil in them. So this is very nice and true and straight, which is really nice because usually they kind of wobble a little bit. So that's really good. And that's pretty snug. Is that supposed to? <clears throat> uh, I read in the book somewhere in that one, one of those manuals it was supposed to be tight. It is tight. Now you know how tight it is. Adequately tight. Yeah. Past experiences, that's probably about uh, 200 foot pounds. I'm sure that. Somewhere in the recommended range. You think? Now, if you had one of those stupid Evo bikes that has all that aluminum plastic crap in here, if you use one about 25 foot pounds, it breaks. I've seen how it's made out of real American steel, or at least made in China or Taiwan. But it's about that thick, you can torque the snot out of them just fine. And if you That's torque good because I don't want any snot in there. Oh, this battery's done. Uh oh. You have to get in the right spot when you're behind the camera, it doesn't work. You gotta be in front of the camera. Well, 
And my light is over here. Seven-year-old battery in this now, remote. You see? No, that's got my battery in it. No, no, oh, in the, the remote. remote. Oh. Okay, see where that uh, groove is right there? You have to rotate upwards to where it is. Got to kind of wiggle a little bit, and if you look up inside the hole in there, see how you're looking the butt into that key. All you're seeing is steel and no gap, so that means it's all the way in flat. That's what you want to see. Yeah. Now where is that fancy ass nut that you have? Okay, there's your nut. You've got two seals in there, so it's twice as many leaks. And you don't have any grease in there. So that's called a dry hole. And the only screwdriver seems to be this huge one. So I guess I'm going to have to use my Allen wrench because I can't find my little screwdriver. Take a little bit of lubricant. Lubricate your seal. Now I had some Loctite on there earlier. You only lubricated one seal. You said there was two seals. There's two seals in there. Look at it. They're both lubed. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll let you slide this time. See, oh, I found my screwdriver that was missing. Double sealed. Yes. Now, what happened to the red Loctite that was out? That's the one that doesn't work because somebody didn't open it again. Just bust the top off. Yeah. See? Yeah, see, it still doesn't work. Yeah, I see that. It's a good thing I brought my own. Oh, yeah, I got a couple drops in there, see? Yeah. I hear a cop over there. Must be some issues down the street. Burp, 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 burp. Okay, now you can put the lock tab in there if you want. Yeah. Yeah, you noticed how good that worked when it was locked and it came right out and it still had the tab in there. So we should probably use a new one. Yeah, I'm going to use a new one all right. It's called Loctite. You're not using one? I'm using one right now. Doesn't look like you're using that. Here, buddy. I got it. I'm getting it out. Now remember, we got to tighten it so it's loosening. Okay, there's a bunch. Whatever. Torque. Notice how the hub's not doing this dancing crap? We didn't put any lube on those bearings. Yeah, it's a lube in there. I looked. They had oil in them. So this is very nice and true and straight, which is really nice because usually they kind of wobble a little bit. So that's really good. And that's pretty snug. Is that supposed to <clears throat> turn uh, that? I read in a book somewhere in that one, one of those manuals it was supposed to be tight. It is tight. Now you know how tight it is? Adequately tight. Yeah. Past experiences, that's probably about uh, 200 foot pounds. I'm sure that is somewhere in the recommended range. You think? Now, if you had one of those stupid evil bikes that has all that aluminum plastic crap in here, if you're using one about 25 foot pounds, it breaks. I've seen how it's made out of real American steel, or at least made in China or Taiwan. But it's about that thick. You can torque the snot out of it just fine. That's good because I don't want any snot in there. Oh, this battery's done. Uh oh. Well, it's trying. Nope, it just shut off. To switch to this one. Nope, that's my battery. You can turn that one off for a minute. Yours has been charging the whole time, remember? Now this battery should 